apps govern the time we spend on our mobile phones. We create, socialize, entertain and even shop with these computer programs packaged inside these tiny apps. You name it and there is an app for it. Today we actually cannot imagine our digital life without them. In fact, did you know that India is the second largest market in terms of app downloads after China globally? Now that's a huge number and clearly suggests that we Indians love apps and uh, there's tremendous demand in the country. But if you look at the statistics, you would realize that there aren't many made in India apps that make it to the list of top leading apps in the country. In 2020, the top 5 most downloaded apps in India included UC Browser, TikTok, WhatsApp and Facebook. Even for the decade, all the leading apps are either from China or US. Now this makes me wonder, why are made in India apps not as successful and popular as compared to the counterparts? Hi guys, I am Ashri and in this video we will dive deep into India's app ecosystem and find the reasons behind this. We'll also talk to industry experts and some Indian app makers to get some interesting insights on this. So I talked to Trez, one of the co-founders, Pulkit Agarwal, and here's what he said. So I think first we have to understand how this whole industry evolved, right? And where we are in terms of the country over here, right? So Facebooks and Googles of the world, which are some of the US giants, right? And more internet companies that come from there, have been developing this ecosystem since 2000s, right? And uh, their internet penetration has been beyond 50% for a very long time now, almost 15 years, like as we speak. What this allows is that these companies to be able to kind of have users using their products right in huge numbers and then they being able to kind of really iterate and make better experience for the consumers overall over there. So we are still young in this space and we have a long, long way to go. But after the ban on Chinese apps, we saw slight changes happening in the Indian app ecosystem, especially in the short form video making app landscape. Now let's just rewind a little and go back to 2020 when the Indian government suddenly decided to ban more than 200 Chinese apps in the country. Now these banned apps included some prominent names like TikTok, UC Browser, PUBG Mobile and apps like Shein. But uh, some of the app makers say that it did not affect them at all. But some of them said that they started to get more visibility and investors also started showing keen interest in funding them. And obviously the government was also showing interest and supporting them in making Made in India apps. When you kind of talk about the Chinese app ban, I think first of all, you know, the reason why it happened uh, enabled a lot of people to get more, uh, you know, kind of digital literacy, right? They can't kind of understand about uh, the value of uh, protecting data, you know, privacy, right? All of these words is something which people got accustomed to, which are the default for generally an internet ecosystem that we see today. So I think that led to a lot of education one and second also uh, sentiments uh, amongst, you know, the audience to kind of give, you know, uh, opportunity to the Indian app developers or the Indian product developers to kind of have, you know, really good chance at making a better experience for them, right, and a more personalized experience for them. So we saw that a lot of Indian users started kind of, you know, using for the Indian apps, a lot of, you know, kind of Indian video apps and the Indian, you know, kind of social apps kind of utility apps came into the picture, right, which were kind of some of them were inspired from the Chinese origin, some of them were not, they were kind of generally, you know, kind of very, very innovative. And because of that, I think the entire ecosystem saw a huge amount of growth, right, uh, you know, in terms of the user base, in terms of downloads, in terms of engagement, right, that we speak today. Uh, as Khabri, as the audio platform, for Indian audience, and when I say Indian audience, I'm talking about 90% of India. Um, we never had a real competition from any of those Chinese apps. So I would not say that uh, things really changed for us drastically after the Chinese ban. But one thing definitely changed for us is one, um, the, the time which our creators and users had 
really multiplied they had more time in their hands hence there was lot more concentration happening on the platform hence you were getting lot more engagement and in terms of the creators and the user numbers uh, we we got a uh, 8 to 10x jump in terms of the content creator on the platform and in terms of the user we got 7 to 8x jump in terms of the user on the platform in in terms of our engagement time we jumped by 2x and all of these was primarily one due to uh, users and creators having more time in their hands that was one second thing was that post the ban on uh, chinese app there was this uh, intense focus or i would say the entire ecosystem uh, woke up to towards build like building in india towards built in india apps and that is where we got lot of visibility i would say which earlier was not present in the ecosystem things might be getting better but still there are many challenges faced by indian app makers right now i talked to twitter alternative who's co-founder here's what he said you have to look at this from a larger perspective india usually gets uh funded by companies outside of india indian startups right mostly they get funded for uh ideas that have already found a product market fit in some other larger uh more sophisticated market so if you've got a product market fit in the us we know this is a larger human need let's find a market in india that's usually the thesis very little money is made available for innovation here now the question is are the innovators here do they have the intent to innovate and do they have the funds for innovation so the answer is that yes you have innovators you have the intent to innovate but usually these funds for innovation are not made available if you're trying to do something new you might not get funded at all so that's the reality now if that is a reality how will you innovate if you don't innovate you can't have a top 10 app that's basically what happens in our country region prabhu ram an industry expert also shed some light on the challenges faced by indian app makers uh so the app economy you know uh, is right at the center of this the apps are the ones uh, driving the internet economy and um, if you were to look in terms of uh, not just in terms of consumption in terms of app development also india has a very strong talent pool you know india has been home to developers who have got all the right skill sets to tackle all the problems as such you know if you were to look at uh, why we have not been successful thus far you know uh, developing an app is still it's a big challenge you know it requires access to uh you know capital access to market access to uh, all the right uh, tech tools as such you know and while you're doing all of that as an app developer the ecosystem doesn't um, you know remain um, stagnant you know it, there is always that fluctuation and the change in uh, evolution technology so to say and so for that um, you know it's always um, you know in a very hyper competitive market it, it's tough to navigate that pathway and the most important challenge is even if one were to get all of this right um, the app discovery is a challenge you know the internet is home to so many apps you know how do you make sure that your app is really out there and is discovered by the right uh, people as such you know so that has been a challenge uh, where um, indian app developers have traditionally faced uh, versus uh, say app developers from other markets but now we are at an inflection point and uh, what i mean by this is you know as i said in a post uh, virus era you know you are going to see more number of indians getting connected to the internet you know uh, from tier 2 to tier 3 cities so there are three different things which are driving the strength there is voice there is vernacular and there is videos and indians are now uh, coming online and uh, accessing the internet through their own languages they are no longer dependent on english they are not um, you know fluent in english so they depend on their own language to access best of the um, you know content which is out there you know discovering content through voice or through video 
India is the second largest market online in the world. But internet penetration stood around 50% in 2020, which means a lot of Indian users have yet to come online. This also shows that we are still young in this ecosystem and all the innovation and development that which is happening right now is pretty new for all of us. So we have to wait for some years to for Made in India apps to scale to the top and make their name in the most downloaded list uh, globally and even in India. Do let us know in the comment section below what are your thoughts on this. Let's have a quick discussion there. Also tell me, uh, do you think Made in India apps are as good as the ones from China or US? Thanks very much for watching. I will see you very soon.